During this week, we're going to talk about the structural systems. In the human body, the structural system refers to the skeletal system. It includes bones, joints, and connective tissues that provide support and protection to our body. Our bones also play a role in producing blood cells and storing minerals. So, for example, right here, we're going to talk about the integumentary skin system. So the function, which is the first line of defense against disease, helps maintain body temperature and keeps fluids inside. The main part of that is the skin, sweat glands, hair, nails, and it helps you maintain uh, fluids, which means not to be dehydrated, helps you know your environment by cleaning things around you, protect organs, and remove waste by a sweat. So the skeletal system is there to support and protect body parts, helps to maintain homeostasis, makes red blood cells, which technically means red bone marrow, and the main parts are the bones, the cartilage, connective tissues, functions for support your body parts, support during movement, and protect your major organs. So for example, we have here that the skull protects the brain and the ribs protect the heart and lungs. Uh, vertebra protects the spinal cord. Then we have here the muscular system. We're going to talk about the function, um, the main parts of it, that the muscular system help you move and you move material through the body, maintain homeostasis, skeletal muscles, um, technically works in pairs, so one contracts and the other uh, returns to its original link and interaction with other systems. This is what we're going to talk about that in details once we reach that point. And then we have here the circulatory and respiratory systems. So technically the circulatory, which in other words is the cardiovascular uh, system, which is responsible for transporting blood, oxygen and nutrients throughout the body. It includes the heart, blood vessels and blood. So heart, blood, veins and arteries and blood here made up of plasma, red blood cells, white blood cells and platelets. So it also helps you, for example, arteries help carry oxygenated blood away from the heart, veins carry up uh, oxygen, uh, unoxygenated blood towards the heart. We're going to talk about that in details once we reach the cardiovascular system. So now we're going to talk about that in brief, but we're going to re-explain that more uh, in details in the third lesson. So, works with the respiratory system to help you transport oxygen and carbon dioxide, and also works with the excretory system to help you remove waste from the body. Also, works with the digestive system to transport nutrients. So, we have here the respiratory system. So, puts oxygen into the body and removes carbon dioxide in the process of breathing. Main parts are lungs, nasal passages, throat, and nose. So we have here, we need it for uh, breathing and sustain our lives. Moving to the uh, food and waste uh, processing system. So we have here the digestive system functions. It breaks down the food. We have mouth, esophagus, stomach, uh, gallbladder, pancreas, small intestine, large intestine, rectum and anus, all of these are parts of the digestive system that we're going to talk in details later on. So the roles of the organs, so we have mouth, mechanical uh, operation or uh, chemical digestion and the esophagus, the stomach, so it produces enzymes and acids and we have the small intestine that most of the chemical digestion take place in the small intestine or intestine and water is absorbed into the bloodstreams in the large intestine and the rectum waste material is compressed into solid form and all the way from the anus. So then we have here the excretory system which technically collects waste produced by cells and removes the waste from the body. We have the kidneys, we have the anus, the lungs and the skin, all of that are parts that our bodies remove the toxic waste.